Glenn Durant was in the middle of his downfall when the 2021 World Match Play came around, having broken his 17 game losing streak the week before the event. He got a tough draw in the first round, where he had to face Callum Rids, who was making his Blackpool debut. Rids was one of the most informed players on the tour at that point, winning his first Pro Tour event at the start of that year. The bookies acknowledged this difference in the player's momentum and made Rids the heavy favourite for the game, with odds of 1.33 compared to 3.75 for Dozza. Throughout the game, Durham played at his predictable mediocre level, whilst Rids played poorly to the surprise of many. This led to a low quality game, where Rids went into the first break with a 5-0 lead, but Durham then won 5 of the next 8 legs to make it 8-5. This looked like it could be the start of a comeback, but a Rids hold a throw in the 14th leg will put him just a leg away from the finish line. With 92 left, he hit Bull, 6, and double 18 to extend his lead to 4 legs. He was clearly frustrated with where the accuracy had been, and so celebrated by punching his wrist, causing his watch to fall off and hit the Oki. He picked it up and left it on his table, and then went on to hold throw in the 16th leg to win 10-6. It was a poor game, with Rids winning despite hitting the lowest average of any player in the first round and Durham throwing the second lowest. Rids tweeted following the game, saying that a win is a win and that he wanted someone to buy him a new watch. He spoke about the watch incident in his post-match interview. 5-0 at the first break, I thought 10-0, game done, that was it and then the crowd started getting into it and my hand started going and when I won, I think it was to go 9-5 up. I punched my hand to like, give my confidence and snap my watch off my hand. I did see that. I've never seen somebody punch their own watch off their arm in, in sort of frustration or celebration. Have you done any damage to it? I don't know yet. <laughs> Is it expensive? A couple of hundred. A couple of hundred. That's all right. You, you just made it through the match play, so that's a few more grand in your pocket. Despite the rarity of that happening, it is not even the only time that it happened in that year. 2021 saw just two European Tour events held, the fewest since the tour began back in 2012 due to the Covid-19 pandemic. The European Championship was still held and Mentor Sulevich managed to qualify as the second seed by reaching the second round of the first event and the final of the second. It was even more special for Mensa as the major event was a home tournament for him, held in Salzburg, Austria. Sulevich beat Adam Hunt in the first round to set up a second round tie with Florian Hempel, who shocked Peter Wright on his European Championship debut. The players were tied at 3-0 early on, before Sulevich won the next three legs to take a three-leg lead. Hempel then won three of the next five legs to make it 8-6. Mensa then only had to hold throw to go over in a leg of victory and with 90 left he hit 25, treble 11 and double 16 to win the leg. He celebrated by punching his hand, causing his watch to fall off of his wrist and onto the hockey. He had to pick it up and put it on the table and it may have distracted Mensa as he lost the next three legs before winning the game in a sudden death decider to the delight of the Austrian crowd. The North American Championship is a PDC event held alongside the US Darts Masters. The event features the North American representatives that qualified for the World Series event and the winners receive a spot at Ali Pali. The 2018 tournament was the second edition of the event and it saw five Canadians and three Americans take part. There was an all Canadian quarter final where John Norman Jr who comfortably whitewashed David Cameron in the first round, faced off against Dawson Marshall, who came through a well-matched tie with DJ Sawyer. Marshall took the first three legs before Norman Jr. won the next four to take the lead. Marshall then won two of the next three legs, taking the game to a last leg decider, where the winner would get to the final, where a win would get them to the World Championship. Marshall had the throw in this leg, and was the first to a double, where he missed tops by a mile from 120, leaving Norman Jr. with three darts at 48, which he took out in two to get the win. He then let out one of the most bizarre celebrations in darts history 
screaming and jumping right in front of his compatriot's face. Norman Jr. is double Marshall's age. John hugged Dawson, who looked like he wanted to leave the stage immediately. Dawson then quickly shook the hand of his opponent and the officials before leaving as peacefully as he could. He then tweeted saying that he never felt more disrespected by an individual in his whole life and that antics during the game had played a part. He later issued an apology stating that he regretted taking the issue public and posted a photo showing that him and John had made up. Eileen DeGraff faced Dieter Hedman in the women's final of the 2017 BDO Finder Darts Masters with both players unbeaten in the group stage. De Graaf won the final 2-0, but when she went back onto the stage to collect her trophy, she tripped up on the stairs and fell onto her knees. She was okay and laughed about it, and Richard Ashdown helped her to get up. Ron Mullenkamp qualified for the 2019 PDC World Championship, which was his fifth World Championship appearance between both of Dart's major organisations. He was yet to pick up a first round win in his previous four appearances, but was a 1.33 favourite to beat Brazilian qualifier Diego Portela in his opening game in the 2019 tournament. Early on in the game, it looked like the odds were wrong, as Portela whitewashed Mullenkamp in the first set, before going one set away from the win to a 3-1 scoreline in the second set. Portela then won the first leg of the third set, and in the second leg, a wasp appeared on the stage, annoying Mullenkamp, who attempted to swat it away, but instead slapped his glasses off of his face. Went on to win the next three legs, taking the third set. He then won the fourth set, 3-1, to take the game to a deciding set, which he won 3-1, with a great dart into the double three. He celebrated by running towards the guest section, leading for his glasses to fall off of his face again. He spoke about how the wasp incident helped him to relax. Strange to think that you were, you're either trying to get rid of a wasp or a, or a fly. Yeah, and I know, you're not, I you're, Well, it sort of took the tension out of the situation, and well, from then you started actually playing better. Well, I used that as well. I said to myself, well, the tension is away now because of the wasp. Let's do it. And uh, what a roller coaster it was, yeah. Unbelievable.